Hi, Hiram here. In the past, I've done some uh, boil tests on wick stoves, carbon felt wick stoves. Some that I've made up in the past, just uh, Nivea cans with a hole punched in it. Carbon or carbon felt rolled up into a tea light cup, things like that. Extra wide ones, like so. It's a uh, I forget which kind of bottle, a beer bottle, I guess, that was cut off. Carbon felt rolled up inside it using a remote feed. Also did a test on one that I got from Xanadu 1JW, his Mountaineer stove, made out of a barbasol, uh, small barbasol shaving can, where he rolled up a carbon felt wick in there, and then also put the donut on it with a remote feed. Now this one I had a couple of problems with because it used a uh, a squeeze bottle type thing. Never had any luck with those. I didn't understand quite understand the operation here. I couldn't get it to work right. Plus there was one or two little things here like having the input nozzle a little bit too high. So I never did. I don't think I ever got a boil test done on this one. I also did what I called a. Uh, simple carbon felt burner again just a small this is a hairspray can cut off uh, carbon felt rolled up in it and a remote feed on it these were made for dry baking I wanted a burner that was small didn't crank out a whole lot of heat so the carbon felt is pretty much even with the top of the stove even with this I got uh, what was it two cups of water to a boil starting at 60 degrees in about 10 minutes or 12 minutes depending when I had a remote feed on here I think the alcohol coming in from the outside was cooling it off a little bit and it made it run for like two minutes more to get a boiling but about 10 11 minutes for two cups of water to boil on this ever since then I keep having people request that I look into other burners and stuff and one of the big burners is big burners that I got requests for is this uh, mini bull designs m2 I found this on eBay at least was I think it's a mini bull it's not quite what I expected uh, I for the money that I saw these things at I thought it'd be a little bit fancier but uh, I got this on eBay it's used and must have been used hard so anyway, some of the stuff with this, uh, let's see, the weight on this, the base, it's about an inch, inch point one, yeah, come on, Hiram, talk here. It's a little more than an inch in diameter on the base. It's actually made of two pieces of metal held together with silicone, I guess, a silicone tube. Now it looks like on this one it's got it been burned or something, which must have been really some cranked out heat. So the burner is a little bit uneven now. But basically it's just two pieces of metal held together with a silicone tube and an import in port on there. The carbon felt is just a donut across the top again and a little piece of carbon felt rolled up. Now I'll give you the dimensions and stuff down below. As far as weight, that's kind of surprising. This, let's see, what did I have here? The weight on this is 0.65 ounces or 18.4 grams. Just this part. Okay? So 18.4 grams. When you come to Xanadu's stove that he made, the burner rather that he made, this weighs 0.41 ounces or 11.5 grams. So this thing is lighter than that thing, that burner. And then mine, uh, my simple burner is about the same weight as the Mountaineer stove from Xanadu 1JW. One, one so these are lighter than that one, which kind of surprised me. I thought that was supposed to be a lightweight stove. What I'm going to do today is a boil test on this. I'll put it back together, uh, hook it up to the remote and get it full of alcohol, and I'll do a quick boil test just to see what kind of heat this thing cranks out. So let me get my water prep, get alcohol in this, and I'll be back for a test. Okay, I've got my water at temperature. Alcohol's flowing into here, and it looks a little 
it's on the damp side so let's try lighting this okay what you see glowing there is just the donut part I'm going to use a hardware cloth stand I don't know what really goes with this but I've made it so that it's about one inch from the top of the carbon felt to where the bottom of the pot will be okay I guess that's lit let's try two cups of water setting at 60 degrees and let's see where this goes I just wanted to show you here hopefully it's focused in enough uh, what you see glowing there is just the donut part that little round uh, donut shape of carbon felt that was on top or on the outside of the wick it's been glowing away like mad now the bubbler is bubbling away it gives me a bubble at least every four seconds so the uh, burners sucking in the alcohol but it just isn't getting to the donuts I guess it would be different if you used a squeeze bottle you could force the alcohol into there so that it was up onto the donut but my problem with the squeeze bottles is then when you release it it sucks alcohol back out again and you have to keep doing it and doing it with a bubbler this bubbler that I have you see it off to the back that one that's a remote that I got from Smoke Eater. I call it the bubbler. Some people call it the chicken feeder or whatever. But uh, it bubbles when it gives off alcohol, so I just call them the bubblers. Anyway, I put a small one on here rather than one of my larger ones so that it didn't force the alcohol too hard. But uh, it's been glowing like that the whole time. We're working on 10 and a half minutes here, and it's only up to 194 degrees. So it's a little bit slower than my other stoves, but we'll see what it does. So hang on for the end here. There we have 210, 211, come on. 211, 12 in 12 minutes 48 seconds okay I'm not going to do a burnout time here because like I said I'm using the remote on there uh, that's kind of surprising I thought this was supposed to be a hot burning stove but <clears throat> the uh, even the simpler carbon felt which I could cut this height down easy the carbon felt doesn't extend out over top of the burner hopefully you can see it there like that even this one uh, got two cups of water to boil in 12 minutes four seconds when I had my large bubbler on it and I think that was cooling it off a little bit having a large bubbler on it or I did it one time we're measuring the uh, alcohol and it was done with one fluid ounce and that time it didn't have all the extra alcohol flowing in and it took 10 minutes 49 seconds so this actually took uh, the longest time 12 48 12 minutes 48 seconds surprising so maybe this would be a good burner to use for uh, dry baking and simmering and things like that but uh, hang on a minute this is supposed to be now I'm taking it from the ad that this is a used mini bowl designs m2 stove not sure don't know when it was made what it cost originally it cost me what uh, I think it was eleven dollars in some sense yeah eleven dollars and fifty cents for this and the silicone tube that's all it that came with it so any of you use this stove let me know maybe this one's been abused the silicone on the side looks like it had I guess alcohol on it and it burned it it's all white maybe I got a dud one here that somebody wrecked I don't know but that's a carbon felt alcohol stove from eBay supposedly the uh, mini bowl design M2 but I hope that helps I thank you for watching I look forward to your input questions remarks helpful suggestions and as always watch for my buddy Max bye now